Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of the Sky. Last episode, we got the water float back from Marilyn Azaril. Turns out Team Skull took it from the beach, put it on top of this mountain, which was very dangerous because this time of year, uh, Manetric and Electric like to camp up top there and they felt threatened and attacked us. But we managed to beat them, then Dust Noir came and settled everyone down, which was great. We then found out that Grovile has, uh, well Grovile is the culprit who's been taking the time gears and he's stolen a third time gear. This one from um, Fogbound Lake, where you know we said we would you know, keep keep it secret. We're gonna go back to the guild and let everyone know we are ready to take down Grovile. Now, I see everyone's with us. First and foremost, this should go without saying: Grovile appears wherever time gears are located. But where are the time gears? That is the question. But we have no answer, and therefore we have uh, relied upon the Great Dust Noir for ideas. Together, we've identified several locations where the time gears may be found. We ask that everyone split into groups and investigate each of these potential sites. First, Loudred and Corfish. I'm assigning you to the Eastern Forest. That's the huge forest that's far to the east, of course. Got it. Hey, hey, we'll do our best. Next, Bidoof, Dugtrio, and Sunflora. We'd like you to search Crystal Cave. Yep, yep, we'll do. Understood. Oh my gosh, I'll search hard. And finally, Voltsy and the Don. You two are assigned to the Northern Desert. The Northern Desert? Correct. Open your wonder map, okay? See, this area? The area on the map is obscured by clouds. The dry terrain starts in this area here. That's why it's rumored that a vast desert extends from that point onward. We suspect that a time gear is hidden in the depths of the desert. That is where we're sending you to investigate. Okay, we understand. Um, what about me? Diglett will remain at the guild. We can't very well leave the guild completely unattended. Krogan and I are staying behind at the guild too. The work we do at the guild is important too. Let's make sure we keep up our good work. Y yes. Now, let's find the time gears, everyone. Yumta! <laughs> oh, I love Wigglytuff and the Yumta. The Northern Desert is not only wide and deep, it is uh, raked by vi vicious sandstorms. Please do take care. Will do, thank you. Foxy, let's do our best. Let's go. I've got like um, a bunch of supplies, so we should be good to go and explore. I did want to do some grinding, but um, yeah, I, I couldn't leave. The game wanted me to go to the um, back to the guild, so I had to do that. So no grinding just yet. I find it really difficult to find a good like good point to just grind in this game. The Northern Desert is through here. The time gear really is here. Grovile should show up here for sure. Let's do our best and find that time gear. All right, let's go. Northern Desert, first floor. But we have Girafferig and we have Aaron, not Aaron, uh, Toro, sorry. Whew. Uh, can I breach you a quick attack? I haven't got quick attack anymore. No okay, never mind. Oh, 116 damage. Let's go. I'm actually gonna quickly switch moves as well. Uh, let's go by because force palm and uh, reversal is linked together all right let's pick up all the items we can because I've got plenty of storage I think our bag increased oh sleeping gas you suck all right let's go but we can get into another like boss battle and giraffe it goes for like agility like I never thought agility would be so so clutch just be able to keep attacking and attacking and attacking without the opponent going for a move. Hey, nice. Double speed. Hey, doing it again. There you go. Triple speed. Oh. Quadruple speed. Okay. Oh. Turn to normal speed. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get that gold, but it's fine. Uh, Cacnea, what's up? Absorb. Ow. 23 damage. That's, that's not good. We've got the cringe. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> Bless me. My sneeze is a manly, shut up. All right. Oh, yo, you want to go, Cacnea? Gonna bite you. I'm gonna bite you again. Probably not the best idea biting that dude, because, you know, Spiky end up hurting us. Let's get some Iron Thorns, and we are going up. Oh, Aaron, how's it going? 25 damage, oh, not too bad. And sucks. Oh, come on, dude. How much HP do you want to have? There you go. 
Phoenix, I'll just go and use a force palm right away. <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah. Uh oh, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, giraffe work level twenty. Good. So for the last boss battle, we had to. Well, I, I say the recommend level. I reckon was about twenty-one. But now we're twenty-three because we lost a few times and did a little bit grinding through it. I think we should be like a decent level here. And then, uh, hopefully by the time I get to the boss, we sh should be the recommended level. Or higher. Oh, not a sandstorm. Sandstorm is the worst. Banffy's not going to take any damage, which is good. Ooh, Lavita. Ooh. If I can get you recruited, that'd be kind of cool. Alright, let's just go straight for a force palm, because that is going to de delete you. Hey, I can recruit it. Let's go. Yes. Uh, no. But I'm gonna send Tauros back. I want to keep um Giraffe Rig just because of the the agility. So what level is um Lavitar? It's 23. Yeah, we're a good level right now. Perfect. I mean, Giraffe Rig's a little bit underleveled, but it's fine. It's a guest Pokemon. Oh. Gotta stop walking past the money. Don't mean to. Uh, because you look a little scary, I'm going to go straight for a force palm. Nice. And then we can go fight. Easy. Next floor. Ooh. It's getting a little bit darker here. You got this, Fanfi? You got this, right? Let's see. That's fine. It's fine. Because, yeah. Hey, we're level 24 now. Let's go. Want to learn a new move? Screech. Ooh. I do want to learn it, actually. How do I get rid of... Alright, it's D-Link. Gonna get rid of Reverse. I want to learn Screech just because I feel like it'll be so helpful to take out, like, bosses. Because obviously me and Fanfi are mainly physical attackers. Oh. So going for a uh, Screech Lowers Defense, then going for like Force Palm. Should do a lot of damage. Nice. And that was Force Palm the, uh, the Aaron. Nice. Oh. Good. Uh, let's oh, take you out. Nice. Good, good, good. Alright, let's keep going to the right. And then we'll go. Oh, oh, love it, huh? Ooh, box. I still need to open so many boxes. Oh, there's the, um, the stairs. Double speed, let's go. You got this, Fanfi? I believe in you. Oh, keep it going, dude. You got it, you got it, you got it. I believe in you. There you go. Right, uh... To the ninth floor now. Oh, a lara on that's a little scary, not gonna lie. Oh, Fanfi's going straight for it. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I think a force palm should probably take you out. Yeah, I probably should um, register that as well. Ooh, what's this? The one annoying thing about this game so far is the boss battles. I can't use orbs. It's always like, oh, mysterious force is not allowing you to use this. And it's just like, bro, let me use it. I saved it for these boss battles, but now I'm just going to save it for like monster houses. Oh no, I actually just completely botched that. <laughs> come on, come on, and yeah. Nice. Ooh, new move. I'm gonna get rid of Flail. So come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Right, let's grab that money. 
more money is better because I spent a uh, lot of money on a reviver seed. That's so expensive. So expensive. Oh. Had the wager off rig. I got this. Oh, we missed. Nice. Right, where are the stairs at? This sandstorm though is bringing back bad memories from uh, Mystery Dungeon DX, which we played earlier this year. There was one um, dungeon, I think I had to go like 60 floors. And it's like one point it was like a sandstorm was just doing too much damage and I just kept like losing because I couldn't, I couldn't live the sandstorm. But now we good, we good. Don't have to worry about that. I mean, the sandstorm's still annoying, don't get me wrong. 11th floor, okie dokie. Oh, a lot of people ask if I'm gonna do the post game in this game. And I should say as well, like, I'm gonna do the story parts, like, um, you know, stuff that just adds on to the uh, the main story. But anything that's just like, go up 99 floors to just get a legendary, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Like, I want to, don't get me wrong, I want to, but for my own sanity, I just, I cannot. The 99 floor dungeons, the most I'd probably do is 50. I, I honestly hate. Like, I love this. I love Mystery Dungeon games. I really do. But sometimes they can just be so frustrating. Like, the RNG, you get you can get really bad RNG. I do want to take these guys out just for the XP, actually. Ooh, is that a cacton coming up? Getting all that stat boost as well. Fanfy, let's go. Alright, just need to look at you. Ooh, triple speed. Ooh, quadruple speed for the Don. Right here we go. Oh, can I get a go yet? Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna go for a screech. And I should probably do um, Lavitar's moves. Wait, what? Lavitar, what are you doing? Right, let's get that off. Like that for now. Lavita, you. That's bad. I'm just gonna leave that cacturn. Don't want him to kill Giraffe Rig. I think it was confused from Fresh. That's what happened. But now, no more Fresh. We good. We good. Just gonna take it slow so we can get some HP back. I'm actually going to drink an elixir. I feel like we're close to where we need to be, but this is just, just in case, you know? Oh, dead end. Let's go back. And we have to go down. Oh, there's the stairs. Nice. 13th floor. Uh, let's start by going up. Oh. It's all good, it's all good. 61 damage. It's fine. Yeah, boy. Giraffe with 21. Good. Got to grow them levels, boy. Got to get catch up to us. So we're 24. Oh, dead end. Great. Ah, oh, man, I hate like floors like this where you go down a long path and your finger's going to end up somewhere and you just end up uh, at a dead end. Let's go. Apple. I really hate how like the orbs have the little like orb symbol there but these don't have like the berry symbol or seed I so it would be like a lot easier to just get your items quicker uh oh whoa 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 dude dude chill fury swipes is a scary move okay there's uh four enemies in here to fight but I mean two of them should be easy to beat come on come to me nope family's just gonna get right in the way that's that's great Triple speed. I'm gonna take out the right horn for ah oh, constrictor. Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Quadruple speed. Nice. Good. Who grow level? Lavita. Nice. 
Let's go, let's go. Ow. Oh no, I'm dead. <gasps> Stop! Oh no! Oh, the clutch! We just won. Well, I won. We just lived. If he landed one more attack, that is us dead. Oh, this constrict is so annoying. Nice. Okay, there we go. That was... Oh my goodness, that was close. So this game can get scary. It's that RNG, like that. Just like... I could have been... I've got Reviver Seeds, it's not too bad, but I want to save him, obviously, for, um... For bosses. Okay, fanfi has got... A bit of XP, uh, XP, HP left. That's a dead end. Great, so we're going to the top left. Didn't mean to go too far up, but... Nice, Giraffe Rig, you got this. Is that sleeping Pokemon? Why is it not moving? Yeah, it was sleeping. Good. Uh, left or right? I feel like... Right is going to be the right way. Oh, no, it's not. It's left was. Cool. Oh, that damage was kind of scary. Right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not messing around. See ya. And he's got to chill a little bit. He's going to end up dying soon. Hey, we're 25. Let's go. That's two levels we've grown in here so far. Bad at all. Ooh, okay. Is this the deepest part of the desert? Watch out, it's quicksand. The sands are getting sucked down here and there. They're like sand whirlpools and we'll be pulled in if we get close. It's dangerous here. Maybe we'll go down, find Relic Castle, find Bulk Corona. <laughs> Don't see anything around here that remotely looks like a time gear. Maybe there's nothing here. Oh, what's the matter, Voltsy? This feeling. It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. Hey, I, I know this place. Maybe I have only heard of this place. But it seems like I've been here before. I can't tell which. Either way, I do know this place. Listen, Voltsy. What's the matter? You're off in your own thoughts there? Well, there seems to be nothing here. How disappointing. Let's report our findings to the guild. Let's go home. Nah, there's definitely something here. We'll have to come back at some point. What? So everyone's back from their searches? But nobody found anything? Disappointing. That's what happened, alright? Hey, hey. We went out to the eastern forest just like we were told. But hey, there's nothing really there but the forest. And as for Crystal Cave, yep, yep. It was chock full of crystals. Mighty pretty cave, I tell you. It was so pretty that I just couldn't help help myself to a crystal. Oh, when did you pick that up? I was with you the whole time, I never noticed. But doof. Our objective was to find a time gear. We all fit. Oh, I bet he stole the time gear, that'd be funny. <laughs> we all failed to achieve our objective. We had the nerve to collect a souvenir? Totally unrelated to the mission? Who do you think you are? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Just want a tiny treasure for myself, that's all. Dust Noir, sir, I regret to say it. Our search efforts ended fruitlessly. Ah, this is vexing. I thought the search locations we chose held promise. I blame my lack of knowledge. I'm truly chastened. My goodness, no. You mustn't blame yourself. Why, it was thanks only to your vast knowledge that we came up with our plan, Dust Noir. Nonetheless, our efforts have ended in failure. That's a fact. But being hard on ourselves is pointless. Let us reconsider our plan. We'll devise a different strategy tomorrow. Yes, let's do that. And may we find success together. That's how it stands, everyone. That's enough work for today. Rest up, prepare for tomorrow. Understood. Oh, does Dustin want to eat with us? Yeah, that's kind of sad. Not to be fair, he's a famous explorer. He's probably got loads of money. Probably standing in like a nice fancy hotel. Eating like more than all of us combined. So the next morning. Up and Adam, it's morning. 
go and do our morning routine. So what is the assignment for today? Do not be sentry duty. I want to go and do like a, some missions. I don't know what I want to do, outlaws or jobs, but I want to do something. So that brings us back to today. Presently, the great Dos Noir and I are working out a new strategy. While we, while we develop this strategy, we ask you to search for the time gears on your own initiative. That is all. Alright everyone, work hard again today. Hooray! Alrighty. Oh. We're supposed to search on our own today, Voltsy? Where should we go? Hmm, I wonder. We can search all we want. We don't have a clue. Oh, wait a second. Yesterday, when we were out there? This feeling. It's like a, the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I, I know this place. Yes, that's right. Yes, at the quicksand pits, we assumed that it was a dead end for our search. But maybe they really are secrets there. What's the matter? Are you off on another daydream? What, you want to go back to quicksand desert? We were there yesterday. We didn't find anything. What, when we were at the quicksand desert, you experienced the same sensation that you had at Fogbound Lake? Well then, that's settled, Foltsy. Uh, what you say must be true. Let's go, let's go there again. Back to Quicksand Desert. I mean, if we said that while we were there, that would have made, you know, would have saved so much time. Is there any, like, jobs we can pick up for the place? No, there isn't. Okay, so, uh, I'm just going to take this side real quick. No. Alright, so Quicksand Desert. Just the music is so, like, cheery, man. So, like, just gets you in the mood. Alright, we're going to go to Quicksand Desert. Alright, so we're back here. Well, we're back. But it still seems like there's nothing here. Just this white sand stretched out in front of us. In Quicksand Pits, obviously. Is there something more here? What kind of secrets are hidden here? It's very faint, but I can still feel it. This place. I know it somehow. But looking out over this, I have to admit that Don is right. There really is nothing here but the desert and the quicksand pits. Aside from those pits, there's nothing. Wait, wait a second. There's only quicksand. That's the key to the mystery. There's no way forward. Or is there? What do you think? Where should we look, Voltsy? We'll have to go down the quicksand pit. What? What did you say? You want us to jump into the quicksand? Are you serious, Foltsy? Are you serious suggesting that we should jump in? Okay, I trust you, Foltsy. I have faith in you, please don't. <laughs> it's all thanks to you that I've come so far. During our first exploration... Oh. We jumped through the waterfall, which was super dangerous. But like, that's... I had a vision that time. That was fair enough. But this time I've got no vision. This is just me thinking. Thinking it's got me there. This is very dangerous, but... I was able to go on then because you helped me be, helped me be a courageous, Foltsy. My feelings haven't changed since then, so let's go for it. Let's jump into the quicksand pit, Foltsy. Oh, please don't, we're gonna die. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my backside. Where are we? Is this a cave? We fell through from up there. You are right, Foltsy. You are right, the secret swirled within the quicksand. Let's move it. It's time to go exploring. Let's uh, let our time gear search begin. Alright, so quicksand cave. Whoa, 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 chill, chill, chill! I think you've come to me. Oh, we've got the paralysis, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I wonder what, like, um, Pokemon will find at the end. Will it be a legendary? Or will it, oh. Will it be a, uh, it's a tough Pokemon? See, I think underground cave like this, I'm thinking it's got to be like a rock or ground type. And it's got to obviously gen be generation four below. My f the first Pokemon that comes to mind is Reggie Rock. I doubt it'll be Reggie Rock. Got Pubertars here. We had Lavatars um, up top. Maybe Tyranitar? Got Trapinch and Vibrava. Maybe Flygons. There's a lot of potential, like, bosses. 
actually quite excited. I'm hoping it's a rock type because if it is, if it's Tyranitar, then hoo, 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 boy, you're going to get wrecked by my force palm. Oh, uh, no. I should have said yes and just sent you back, but it's fine. Oh, nice. Getting some pretty decent luck here. All right, uh, two Pokemon coming up. Come to me. Oh, no. Keep forgetting, now that I've changed, like, oh, nice. The Don's, like, tactics to attack enemies. I can't just let them come to me sometimes. Like, he's going to get in front, which isn't too bad, I guess. Nice. They're really easy to beat. Uh, anything in here? Oh. Some money. Alright, so let's go back. Oh, Sand Slash. Yeah! Pick that. Ooh. Draw off rig 22. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Oh man, I remember when I turned 22. Love that song. And now that I'm 27? Yeah, 27. Song just it's like, oh man, that was that was five years ago. How's that five years ago, man? Doesn't feel like five years ago. Oh, it's fine. Alright, fifth floor. Let's grab that. I feel ooh. Okay, it's fine. I'm asleep, I'm asleep, I'm asleep. Oh, uh yeah. Sorry, Fanfi. Oh, yo, what's up? Yeah. yeah, give me that agility. And then you can come to me, maybe? I might have to, if I go team, the Don, tactics, oh, not Don, sorry, uh, Lavita, go after foes as well, and Giraffe Rig will put you on to... Oh yeah, that's fine. Like, he's doing a good job with the agility, and then sometimes a side beam. Like, I want the agility first and foremost. Oh. If we can just recruit a Pubitar as well, get rid of a Lavitar, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, there's a Sand Slash there. Uh, we've got some items. I'm finding like no seeds, it's just all orbs. I'm hoping it's not going to be too difficult when we get to the boss. Oh wow, okay, taking a lot of attacks. Sorry, a lot of hits. Oh, there's the stairs, nice. Seventh floor. Oh, and it's just down here. Oh, go on, Giraffe Rig. Do some damage. Nice. Nice, dude. Grab the money. I love how you go from 110 to just 7. <laughs> oh, got this fancy? Ah, oh, dude. Oh, oh no. That's fine, it's fine. I hit twice. Dude, man, pin missiles are scary. Oh, one thing I can do in this game, like, is it. It's not, it's kind of cheating a little bit, but I can do, oh, can't use moves. I can use save states, so if I get really bad luck, I can just like reload a floor. But I might do that like later on in post game. Like I'll try and not use save states, because I feel like it's a little bit cheating, you know? Like if I get to a floor, I mean, it's not, uh, I don't know. It's basically just reloading a save. But obviously you're not supposed to be able to save during floors. So I guess it kind of is cheating, but the sake of just playing the game, finishing it, you know? Could do it. Might do it before boss battles, because getting back to boss battles is kind of annoying, but then at the same time I get levels, so it's not that bad. Oh, dude, we're getting so lucky with the uh, the floors right now. Oh, oh, we're halfway. Okay, we can save it at least. Good, good. So I'm guessing it's got to be like floor 22. Oh, okay, no. Still probably like floor 10, the bottom. 
Oh no. Oh, you poisoned me and did a lot of damage. Oh, that did a lot though. Right, I need to find the stairs quick. The faster we find the stairs, the faster we get rid of this poison. Yeah, come for me, Scroopy. Just hoping you don't go for pin missile. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, still got 43 HP left for Larvy Task. Good. He's kind of going off on his own a little bit. It's not great. Ah, stairs are there. Fantastic. Kind of good I did follow him because, um, yeah, go to the stairs. I want a Kecleon shop. Ooh, that could be nice. Nope. Okay, nothing happened. Good. Low when the traps don't work. And we've got Sandstorm. Great. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, you guys got that. Come on. Oh, okay. Uh, this is looking... Oh, come on, dude. Can we stop missing? Sand Slash is just probably going to take out the Larvitar. Stop using rock moves. Okay. Come on. Just please. Oh, dude. Can we not miss? This is so annoying. Just please. There we go. Oh, I hate Sandstorm. I hate when my team's like all spread out. And there's the floor. Okay. Ooh. And more sandstorm. Great. Love when anyone, everyone misses. <laughs> it's so good. Yes, four misses in a row. My favorite. Nice. Come on. Oh no, you got 12 HP left. Oh, can we stop missing, dude? It's really bad to miss. To... Okay, good. Good, Lavitar, good. What's that new move? Uh, the Tom Pass. How does that work in this game? It's not. I don't need that, to be honest. Because, like, he's always out of the way. I mean, it could be good to maybe save him, but it's not. Not something I really. Need, I just need to, I want to get out of here. Oh, dude, of course it's a dead end. Oh, dude. Okay. Oh, come on, Skorupi. You suck. Of course, I take up my, uh, I say, try and turn my Lavitar. That's one Reviver Seed gone, which is annoying. I feel like we still got at least like five more floors to go. At least. Uh, I'm gonna actually just yeah, put you like that. Yeah. Got the paralysis, nice. And then we miss, and then we miss again. Are you kidding me? I have to go use an orange berry in a bit. It's got to be over here. Oh, there it is. Yep, see, I ain't messed around with two Skorupis. Alright, uh, gonna eat an Orem Berry. Okay, fully healed. We good, we good. Nothing to really worry about at the moment. What's this? Switch Robo, Kidoki. Alright, let's go. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Got a Ninjask. Let's go, boy. Oh, did not mean to do that, but it's fine because at double speed we get a return. 
Hey, level 26, let's go. That's dead end, so we're going down, we're going down, boys. Might as well go try to fight it, because, like, they were going to do it anyway, so... Oh, don't, don't miss. Sick floor. Ooh. Who, who makes this sandstorm? Is it the just a random floor? Is it like a Pokemon on the on this floor? See so either way, it's annoying. I hate it. <laughs> hey, stairs. Let's go. I uh, just got money and more money. Get lots of money in here, though. At least. Don't know who's dropping this money around here, but I appreciate it. Oh, Tyranitar. Oh, if I could have recruited that dude. If I can just keep force pumping Tyranitars, then I can maybe recruit one. Uh, I actually want to try and... Save... Don 26, nice. Try and save my um, force palms with the Tyranitars. The fact that we just saw a wild one makes me think it's definitely not going to be a boss. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. Right, what we'll do is petrify. Oh, dude, come on. Come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Stop missing. You know what? I'm actually going to do this now. I'm going to use a save state just in case. Just in case. Because I feel like my luck's going to be really bad. I don't want to die now. Right, I'm going to go and take out the Tyranitar because I feel like that could be really scary later on. Maybe not. All right, I'm going to actually... Okay, good idea. Go Screech. Oh, there's only one Pokemon. I thought I was going to hit all the Pokemon in the room. Okay. It's good to know. Triple speed. I'll try and Tars out of it. I'm right, going to hit all the Pokemon. Quadruple speed. Go for it again. Oh, it seems like a lot of them aren't pa paralyzed anymore, so they might be coming towards us. <laughs> it's kind of good though, this move. Kind of glad I taught it to uh, Riolu. Got the stat boost. Let's go, the Don. Good range, Giraffe Rig. Oh, snap. So I should get a... Maybe two turns before they can even move again. Nice. Can't go any faucets. Fine. Just don't take the Don. Stop, stop. Dude. Ah, okay, it's got revive. I got revive seeds, it's fine. Please finish them all off. Free gone. Nice. Sweet, sweet. You should level up from all these like enemies taken out. It's gonna go a lot smoother. I just uh, played a little bit better, but I wouldn't miss all the time. Oh, bro. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. So happy I missed. Just, just one attack, just one attack. 
Okie dokie. Nice. There we go. Oh my goodness. There'd be some. Oh, dude. No more Pokemon, please. It's gonna eat an Ormberry. I'm a bit scared of my HP. Whew. That was very scary. And I have no more Reviver Seeds. That's fantastic. It's just because I'm missing. Like, if I don't miss attacks, it's a lot easier. Oh my god, come on. It's like we're missing, like, it's too much. Too much. Alright, I want the stairs now. Oh, great. Right, I'm actually going to drink an elixir now. Do I have any more elixirs? Oh, you're kidding me. Huh. I'm going to check what the item is. I just want to get out of here. But no more Reviver Seeds. I don't think I need more Orange Berries either. I just need to... Oh, dude, come on. And Swords Dance. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Stairs. Oh, dude, where are the stairs? Stairs, 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 stairs. Sandstorm, so happy. Oh, that's gonna be difficult. Oh, the monster house I, um, items weren't even that good. I mean, the XP was decent. <gasps> oh, okie dokie. Um, why are you holding the spur? I don't know why you're holding that, but. I'm gonna use that, I wanna see whether. Okay, so we need to take out this. Whoa, dude. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, boy. I mean, wasn't great, but. What does this even do? See ya. Need to get out. If we get to the boss, then we should. Oh no. No, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I thought that was gonna warp me. Ah, oh, great. Oh no. I'm going to die. Just need to get out of here. You guys got this. No, you don't got this. You're all gonna die. I might just have to, like re go through. Which is gonna be annoying, but. It's got Fire Fang, Dark Pole. It's got some decent moves, dude. Rip Lavita. It's fine, it's fine. It's not fine. Go away. And he save me! <laughs> oh no. It's over. Wait, we need to land that ancient power dude. Oh, dude. You need to. If he lands the ancient power, it's. He wins. Nice. There's the stairs. Just want to get out of here. That warp trap. Really messed everything up, dude. Oh no. This is not looking great. Uh, I want to go change your tactics. Just let's go together. Do not fight. Do not fight that Tyranitar. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, there's the stairs. We're almost out. I said almost out. <gasps> oh, underground lake. Whoo, that was tough. Th this is fantastic. I didn't expect to see this. This huge lake sprawling underground. Look, something's going way over there. That light. I'm sure I've seen it before. That's it, I've got it now. It's the same kind of light that we saw at Fogbound Lake. That means that light could be coming from a time gear. We need to get a closer look at it, Volty. But why it went dark? Wait, what? Who are you? Oh, who said that? Why? Why did you come here? Why? We just came to look at the time gear. Stay away from the time gear. If you won't leave the time gear alone, I'll stop you. Oh! Who, who are you? I'm Mesperit. Here at the deep underground lake, I protect the time gear. Protect the time gear? Won't allow you to disturb the time gear. Get ready. Oh no. See, having Lavatar and Giraffe Rogue here would be so good. Right, uh, first thing, I have no items that can really do anything, do I? Hey, we're back. This time, got my crew, grew a few levels, haven't got the best items, but I think we can do this. I'm going to quickly, I want you to go for agility, that's what I want you to do right now. And I am going to go forward one spot. Nice. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to eat. No, no, yeah, I'm gonna actually go for Screech, like last time. Another Screech. Nice, got the stat boosts, perfect. Oh, and you got the uh, flinch, nice. Okay, so now, we're at quadruple speed. I'm gonna let you go for Psybeam and Confusion. I am going to eat my Violent Seed. Ah, oh, you missed the rollout. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, see how fast Giraffery got there. That was insane. Yeah, we're just gonna bite. 108. Oh, wow. We must have been so close to defeating Mesperit then before. Oh, that's insane. I can't let you take the time gear. Will you please listen? We didn't come here to steal your time gear, really. Don't lie to me. Uxie used his telepathy to tell me what happened. I know that the time gear uh, was from Fogbound Lake was stolen. What, you heard it from Uxie? That was your doing, wasn't it? No, we didn't do it. Then who was responsible? That would probably be me. Oh, Grovile's here. Who are you? Grovile. That's Grovile. I must apologize, but I'll be taking that time gear. Oh, snap. Stand aside. No, I won't. Won't let you take the time gear. I have no choice then. Oof. Miss Spirit, you lost that fight. You sustained serious damage, so don't push it. You're not getting by us. We won't let you take the time gear. Alright. Sorry for this. Oh, he's so fast. I mean, we're at quadruple speed. Surely we should be faster, but forgive me. I have no quarrel with any of you. But I'm taking that time gear. Oh, the time gear. That thief is taking it. I'm sorry. Uxie must have not been talking about you. It was that Pokemon. I'm sorry for doubting you. Oh, this is bad. We have to get out of here. But why? Oh, before time freezes. Oh, snap. What's happening? It's happening because the time, because the thief took the time gear. So time in this whole area, time will stop around the underground lake. What? If we don't hurry, we'll be trapped in time. Hurry, run with all your might. We are going so slow right there. <laughs> So the clouds lifted over Quicksand Cave in the vicinity of the arid area. Yes, definitely want to save the game because that was that was tough. That was very tough. So chapter twelve, the only option. Ooh, what's the only option? Thank you for helping with our criminal investigation. We have Misperit under protection. Her safety is assured. 
We are dedicating all resources to the pursuit of Grovile. If you come across any information related to this case, please let us know. Zzz. We must all cooperate to bring this criminal to justice. Zzz. This is all. Uh, now please excuse us. Why am I? I'm absolutely astonished. So there was a lake deep under the northern desert? And that wasn't all. A time gear was also down there. Yes, but about the time gear. Grovile stole it. And we failed to even slow down Grovile. In the end, that's the same as doing nothing at all. That's not true, by golly. You all did great work. Hey, hey, I think so too. Team Hero can be really proud. There's a shame about this whole thing. There's no clue telling us uh, what we should do next, right? If only we had one tiny hint. I must agree. When will Grovile strike next? We have no way of knowing. It's too bad that the opportunity to catch him slipped away. We're back to square one. Maybe not. Not necessarily. Dust Noir, sir? There are some clues. One time gear was at Fogbound Lake, got up by Uxie, correct? Another time gear was at Underground Lake, got up by Mesperit. Oh, that reminds me. Mesperit told us about something interesting. Mesperit knew that the time gear was uh, from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Uxie alerted her by te telepathy. Incredible. Now that is really something. I should have known. There's an ancient legend. It is believed that Uxi is the being of knowledge, and the mis mis spirit is the being of emotion. But three Pokemon in total represent the spiritual world, and are said to be kept, said to uh, keep the world in balance. Three? So besides Uxi and Miss Spirit, there's another Pokemon like them? Yes. The last of the trio is Azelf, known as the being of willpower. Uxi and Miss Spirit both guard her time gears. Therefore, Azelf might may likewise be protecting her time gear. Oh, I see. If we could locate Azelf. We may find a time gear with the Pokemon. We may have a chance at seeing that thief Grovile appear. That's correct. Those three Pokemon, Uxie, Mesprit, and Azelf, all three are said to dwell at lakes. It's a fact that both Uxie and Mesprit were encountered at lakes. As such, I believe that Azelf will be found at a lake somewhere. Let's keep something in mind. Uxie's lake was located on a high plateau. Mesprit's lake was far beneath a desert. In both cases, the lakes were in unusual places. So the lake where Azelf lives, it will be somewhere that we least expected to be. I get it now. You're saying we shouldn't look for water in the usual place. My, my, my. I commend you on your wisdom, Dust Noir, sir. I feel renewed ad admiration for you. Thank you. It's really nothing. No, 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 we too revere you. First it was you, Dust Noir, sir, who directed us to the Northern Desert. It turned out that the there was a time gear far below the desert. So, Dust Noir, sir, your insight was entirely correct. Oh, so maybe the other places we searched, the Eastern Forest and Crystal Cave. Those places could still be hiding their secrets from us. Ah, I have an idea. Badoof. Yep, yep, you want me? What can I do for you? I have a request. That crystal you picked up previously. May I borrow it briefly? My crystal? No, 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 sorry. That's my precious treasure, by golly. Of course. But rest assured we won't take it away. Or we'll do anything of the sort. Now, Voltsy. There is something I would like you to do. Oh, our, um, you know, our ability. I should touch the crystal. The secret r remains hidden in Crystal Cave. If Voltsy touches the crystal, it may trigger the dimensional scream. It may trigger a vision. I see. That's what it's about. Dimensional scream? What's that? It's a special ability that Voltsy has. Sometimes when Voltsy touches something, then Voltsy has a vision of an event in the past or the future that involves it. Oh my gosh, really? That's yeah, really an ability like that. I desperately wish to borrow the crystal because of Voltsy's ability. Please, may we? Oof, okay, I can't refuse a region like that. <laughs> now give me the crystal. It's mine now forever. <laughs> this crystal, what will it reveal? Everyone's watching. I don't know if I'll see anything, but I need to concentrate. Well, Fultzy. Here it comes. The dizziness is starting. Ooh. No, I'll take it. The time gear. No, you can't take it. Never. That was... Grovile was stealing a time gear. There was also another Pokemon. Was it Azelf? Anyway, the crystal did trigger a vision. Did you see anything, Voltsy? Okie dokie. What? You saw Grovile knock out a Pokemon? One that you've never seen before? And he tried to steal a time gear? Oh my gosh, your ability is thrilling. Uh, how'd you get to see all that, by golly? It's mighty hard for me to grasp. 
Volsi, it's that Pokemon you couldn't recognize. Do you think it might be Azelf? Probably. I have a question for Volsi too. Did you see the past Volsi? Or was it the future? Come to think of it, visions in the past, visions in the future, it's never clear when my visions are, when my visions take place. So you're not sure if it's in the past or the future? Well then, since it's impossible to tell if the vision is of the future or the past, then Volsi's vision may well be of a past event. In that case, the time gear may have already been stolen from there. Squawk! You're saying we may already be too late? Everyone, please hold on. Yes, it is true that it may have been a vision of the past, but it could be a vision of the future. If you would be so kind, could you remind us what Mispirit said, the Dom? Who informed Mispirit via telepathy that time gear was stolen? If I recall correctly, did you say it was Uxie? Hmm? Yeah, it was. Yes, there was no mistake. But the name Azelf. Never heard of it before. The name Azelf is new to me. Only heard it today from you, Dustin Noir, sir. Then there's still a chance. If Mispirit claimed that Azelf had alerted her about the stolen time gear, then Volsi's dimensional screen would surely be from the past. But that was not the case. Mispirit did not mention Azelf. Therefore, it's possible that the event happens in the future. I see. One more point. This is a sure thing. Upon touching the crystal, Volsi experienced a dimensional screen. The vision indicated the presence of a time gear, which means, maybe what we saw, or what, what we seek, is in Crystal Cave. How there's a passage that leads to a time gear? Yeah, maybe it is there. Oh, of course, we may already be too late. Or, we may still have time. As long as a chance remains, we must never give up. That's our only option. Absolutely. There's no other choice. We have to pin our hopes on this. Good thinking, Dust Noir, sir. Yup, yup. Oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement. Let's go everyone, let's search Crystal Cave. Dust Noir, sir, there's only one thing to do. Let's explore Crystal Cave. Let's go. The whole guild will be involved. Onward to Crystal Cave. Guildmaster, please issue the call, call of duty. <laughs> oh, Guildmaster? Guildmaster? Guildmaster, are you with us? Huh? You gotta be kidding. It looks like he's fully asleep. With his eyes wide open too. The Guildmaster is so charming. <sighs> when do you all suppose he took to snoozing? Think that maybe he's been asleep from the get-go? Oh no, this just won't do. Everyone might notice that the Guildmaster is sleeping. It must rouse him somehow. Guildmaster, Guildmaster! Huh? Guildmaster! Chat up! Yes, Guildmaster. No, I mean, yes, Guildmaster. Uh, I take it from the top. There was... Everyone, we're going after Groval. Yumta! <laughs> Let's go to Crystal Cave. <laughs> there has to be a secret there somewhere. Let's get down to business and start our search. I will accompany you to Crystal Cave. Let's do our best, everyone. Hey. Sounds good. <laughs> On to Crystal Cave. Well, I think this is a great part to end this episode off. Next episode, we're heading to Crystal Cave to... Ooh to uh, stop Grovile, save the time gear, and save Azelf. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.